Now, as we were talking a little bit about before, it might not be snowy enough to bring out the sled and find a hill today, but that didn't stop a Siberian Husky rescue from showing off what their sled teams can do over at Starved Rock State Park in Utica. And our Lizzie Siles was there to check it all out. Those are super high energy dogs. I mean, they got to be exercised on a daily basis. You know, the old good saying is a tired husky is a good husky. So this is an excellent way to tire them out, and they love doing it. Avid husky lovers will know those screams and howls in the background aren't from pain or despair, but a whole lot of excitement. Take Storm, for example. <laughs> He's the leader for Ken Westbrook's sled dog team. Right now, he's watching another team take off on a run, and he could not be more jealous. Don't worry, less than 10 minutes later, he's hooked up to the sled, and they're off. The Free Spirit Siberian Husky Rescue is showing off what these dogs can do. Dog sledding usually calls to mind the Iditarod, a team of 12 dogs pulling at top speed through an icy tundra in the dead of winter. But teams of small dogs can pull a lot all on their own. What, what I thought about was cool about it is the bikes. I, I didn't think it was going to be a bike. Colin and Connor Duffield were two of the many kids who came by to see the Huskies. After a sled run, they were more than happy to sit and receive pets from kids and adults alike. They're just really, just like really sweet dogs. Storm, once a ball of howling energy, is noticeably more relaxed after his run. When I sat down for a post-race interview, you could tell he's still full of energy. <laughs> In Utica, Lizzie Siles, 25 News. Our brave reporter Lizzie Siles out in the field there. Thank you so much for your dedication to the job, Lizzie. Appreciate it.